Um, well, in terms of what I've heard so far, um, I must say, as I was kind of just noting to Mr. Berman, um, just the information I was hearing was just, it, it makes me feel, or it makes me angry to hear and see these statistics, mainly because I am Hispanic and a student of color. Um, but mainly because these statistics tend to be true, and I know people are trying to find a way to prove them wrong and to help students. Um, but one thing that mainly stood out to me was um, about student retention, and especially to those students of color. Because as I do find myself right now, I am a first year. I am struggling. Um, it hasn't been an easy road. Um, but it's important to think about you're building these cultures in these schools. How are you trying to, or how will you try to pass them on, or for the students to bring them to college? Because that's one thing that I've seen that I've been challenging. Um, this whole, you've created like a, um, like a, not fixed, but um, mm -hmm. sort of great culture, and it's, it's not transferring to college. Um, I mean, that's where my interest comes into. Um, how are you going to try to keep these students, these were, to retain the retention for, for not only students of color, but to the other students. That's great. Thank you. So yeah, we've got to be helping you um, get <laughs> ready for what you're encountering at UCI, which is really different than Phoenix Academy mm -hmm. in terms of how the adults interact with you, the kinds of coursework you're taking. And you've got three more years ahead of you to get those degrees and graduate successfully. So mm -hmm. thank you for that. So thank you to our panelists. I want to give them a round of applause and then in Nice job. Oh, oh, it's right. <laughs> and then we're honored today to uh, have the Silicon Valley Community Foundation as a partner. And just to um, uh, provide just a, some brief closing remarks and to talk a little bit about common core work that the Community Foundation is going to be engaging in, I'm honored to invite up Ele Eleanor Clement Glass, a longtime uh, colleague of mine who's the Chief Giving Officer at the Community Foundation. Thank you, Eleanor. This will be your, oh, do you have a slide? Good morning. I have been asked to let you know that there's a lot of food left and that, <laughs> and that we invite you to stay, mingle, talk afterwards and take some food to go. I do want to thank you so much for all of you coming today to learn about academic mindsets and the importance of cultivating the learning strategies that students need to be successful in school and life and work, and to reignite our collective sense of urgency and the work ahead and the stakes that are so high. We cannot afford to fail in this work that we're undertaking. I want to also thank our, our panelists and our presenters again for their wonderful insights and the motivation that they provided us this morning for moving ahead. Let's give them another great round of applause. And I do want to thank uh, Lisa Sobrato Sansini uh, from the Sobrato Family Foundation and Bowers from the Noyce Foundation uh, for their partnership and their co-sponsorship of this event and also for their leadership in the field. And I want to thank Gina Dalma from Silicon Valley Community Foundation and Alexa Colwell for also making this uh, event such a success. Silic oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Silicon Valley Community Foundation has a deeply vested interest in our education system's ability to prepare all students for a 21st century education. It is clear that now more than ever, students' beliefs in their own potential, their ability to self-advocate, to persist through academic challenges are necessary skills to succeed and the common core stand, uh, under the Common Core Standards. Uh, and it's evident that these skills are essential for not only their um, success in K-12, but also uh, through college. Our mandate is to assure that all students, all of our students, have the beliefs and the skill sets that they need. We're really at a unique moment in time when we have the knowledge of what students need to be successful, we now have the framework, we now have an assessment system that are all aligned, and we're building a common sense of urgency a common sense that we cannot fail and that we have to do this together and that we cannot do it alone. 
People can't go into their individual classrooms for 30 years. This is about us working together collectively. We know that the Common Core Standards are a huge opportunity to ensure that more students have the knowledge and real world skills that they need to become part of the 21st century society and also workforce. Uh, and also this increasingly complex world, or should I say multiple worlds, that they're going to have to navigate. This opportunity will only be realized if there's a deep and thoughtful implementation of the standards that we have at the school district level, at the school level, at the classroom level, and in each and every home of the student. We recognize that this is an undertaking of major proportions. And although we'll be building on excellent work of school reform efforts in the past, and teachers who've been pouring their souls into their teaching profession for a long time, what we also know is that our educators need those same beliefs that they can change, that they can learn, they need the learning strategies, they need the cultural conditions, they need the powerful infrastructure that's going to help them to be successful. At Silicon Valley Community Foundation, we've launched a three-year initiative, a Silicon Valley Common Core initiative, that will encourage, a, hopefully, a collaborative approach to local implementation activities. We know that there are 54 school districts and that we have to work together. We have to bring people like McKinley uh, together with people who are working really hard and may not have the same resources. We want to provide a pool of funding. We're trying to engage the corporate sector, individual donors, to build a fund that will provide some incentive activities for acting together. We've heard from educators the need for internal structures um, to be able to act collectively, teacher training and professional development, um, the need for technology around the new um, assessment tools, for example, as well as learning, and to be supported real time in the vast changes uh, that are on the horizon for them. The Community Foundation wants to help, and we believe that the whole community is behind you, and that we want to ensure that as you transform teaching and learning in this region, um, it's maximized for all students. We know that this opportunity provides um, every teacher with an opportunity to be a stronger, more effective teacher, every principal the opportunity to be a stronger, more effective principal, as well as superintendents becoming more strong and effective leaders. And what we hope is that people will work together to make this happen. I invite you, um, uh, what we also heard today is that we really need to activate civic and business leaders to make this happen and to also be part of keeping this energy, keeping the buzz, and also keeping us accountable to the, the success that we all want. The Community Foundation wants to help. We invite you to go to our website, siliconvalleycf.org, to learn how these resources can support a deep and thoughtful implementation and to realize the opportunities that the Common Core has for us. I uh, invite you all to invite people to the parts of the, the public education campaign that we've been embarking, be embarking on. Last week we had groups of uh, people from the public. We are holding three corporate hearings. Um, briefings on Common Core. We're talking to educators. April 25th, we'll be talking to superintendents and inviting them to help inform a request for proposal to say, what do you need to make this successful? I hope that we will continue to work together across districts. This is a unique opportunity, and I thank you all for being on this journey together. Thank you.